About a year ago, me and a group of friends um, were looking around for opportunities to get involved on campus. We came across a competition called the University Rover Challenge. We are the founders of this design team. Now every summer, the Mars Society hosts an international competition at its desert research station outside of Hanksville, Utah. These universities from across the world are developing the next generation of Mars rover. So the Mars rovers that we will be working on are the rovers that will be on the surface of the planet with the humans. So we thought that sounded pretty cool. So we decided to create a team. People are coming out of the woodwork, seeing how they could be involved, how they could help out. It's uh, sort of the next generation, the final frontier, and we're doing it here at ST. Three, two, one. We set ourselves a very public deadline of revealing the rover, and it was a very good external stressor to apply the stress to get us motivated to complete the project. Deciding to go from formation of the team to a completed project in one year was pretty ambitious. This is how we talk to the rover. There are several of us here over spring break putting in 16, 18 hour days working on the rover. I think the most powerful moment for me personally was taking a step back on um, the day before and just looking around. And there were 30, 35 members of my team all simultaneously working on different parts of the rover. There were people assembling rockers, making tire mounts, electronics, soldering, um, wiring together batteries, and it was just a really powerful moment to see everyone working together for this single common goal. This summer, I'll be interning at the Johnson Space Center, working for NASA advisors in conjunction with the Lunar Planetary Institute. And my personal project will be prototype rover development and testing. Um, I will be able to take what I've learned this year and apply it at my internship this summer, working on prototype rovers for NASA. And then take what I've learned that summer and bring it back to the team for next year. I do want to be an astronaut. And so to get to that goal, I've set myself a very rigid path. And I hope that in 15 years, I will have attained enough experience and enough background to be a competitive applicant.